Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. Before our solution step by step, I'd like to invite to subscribe on this channel, like this video, and share this link with your classmates. Now, let's go for our problem. Determine the mass of two cylinders if they cause a sag of S equals 0.5 meters when suspended from the rings at A and B. Note that S is equal 0 meters when the cylinders are removed. So here, I have a symmetrical problem. So if it's a symmetrical, I know that mass on A will be the same as mass B. And then for purpose of our exercise, I'm going to use the left side. So here I have two conditions. The condition after I remove the cylinders that I have a spring without stretching. So here I have 1.5 and here I have 2. 2, 1.5. And then here I'm going to use x naught. So when I have my problem, I have a bigger length because I'm stretching my spring. So here is 2 and here continues 2 meters. 2 because it's 1.5 plus my s that's equal 0 0.5. I'm going to call here not. Remember that our spring force is equal k times how much I stretch my spring. So to find our spring force, I need to find how much I stretch. So let's see how much I stretch. Using our Pythagoras theorem, I know that my x naught is equal 2.5 meters. Applying the same theorem, I have x squared is equal 2 squared plus 2 squared. So my x is equal 2.83 meters. Now I can discover my spring force at ring A. So my spring force is equal K times 2.83 minus 2.50. So my spring force is equal 100 newtons per meter times 0 0.33. So my spring force is equal 33 newtons. Okay, so I discover my spring force. Now, we're going to use our free body diagram at A. So here I have A. Here I have the weight A. Here I have a tension. And here I have my spring force. F S because I have two and two, two meters and two meters, I know this angle is 45 degree. So I'm gonna put our angle here. Here is 45 degree angle. Now I'm gonna find my component. Here I have F S times sine of 45 degrees. And here I have my spring force times cosine of 45 degrees. So now I can use the sum of forces in y direction is equal to zero. I know that my spring force times sine of 45 degrees minus the weight A is equal to zero. My spring force is 33, so 33 times sine of 45 degrees is equal weight A. So I know my weight is equal to 23.2 
newtons. Now I know that the weight A is equal to the mass times B. So my mass A is equal to 23.2 divided by 9.81 meters per second. So my mass A is equal to 2.37 kilograms. Now we have our final answer the mass of A from what I explained in the beginning because our problem is symmetrical my mass B is equal to 2.37 kilograms as well thanks for watching till the end don't forget to like this video and share with your classmates thank you